Well, tonight, new video in the murder trial against former Franklin County Sheriff's Deputy Jason Mead. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Today in the courtroom, prosecutors played video of moments both before and after the shooting of Casey Goodson Jr. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp is live at the courthouse tonight with what we've learned. Lacey. Yeah, for the first time, we're seeing surveillance video of the moment Mead and Goodson cross paths on the road. It was at this intersection in front of St. Matthias Church where Columbus Police Detective Arthur Hughes testified Casey Goodson Jr. drove in his Nissan Versus. Then you see the Franklin County Sheriff's Deputy Jason Mead in his unmarked truck. The two cross paths. Then you can see Mead make a U-turn to follow Goodson with another officer following behind. Jurors also got to see body-worn camera video from a Minerva Park police officer who responded to the officer in trouble call. Mead did not have a body-worn camera on because at the time the Franklin County Sheriff's Office did not have the cameras. In this BWC video, you can see Mead on the Goodson family's front porch immediately following the shooting. Mead can be heard directing medics and explaining to another officer what he thought happened. So Mr. Mead tells Mr. Phillips that the person that was shot was coming out of a car with a gun in his hand, right? You heard that. I, I did, yes. Other first responders also testified about Goodson being transported to the hospital, clothes Goodson was wearing at the time, the forensic testing on both Mead and Goodson's guns, also testing on Goodson's AirPods. There were several questions about the holster Goodson was wearing at the time. You carry a holster, correct? Yes. Have they ever flown out when you were doing those things? No flown out for me, no. Okay. And how many times would you say you've done that, Detective? <sighs> Hundreds of times. Um, no retention at all. It just sits in like a pocket. So okay. I wouldn't run with this type of holster. Okay, why, why is that? It'll fall out. The gun will? The gun will fall, yeah. And the state is expected to rest their case tomorrow. We could hear from the first defense witness tomorrow as well. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.